Happy Monday, YouTube family, YouTube friends. I am back with work from home job leads that doesn't require a lot of experience. So if you're looking for a job, no experience, no problem, then this video is for you. Plus, I'm going to go over some resources if you need help paying utility bills or you need help with food or you need a free laptop or low cost laptop to work from home. I'm going to show you some organizations that will help you out as well as if you need some training on each job. There are some free training out there. So we're going to go over that. And then I'm going to go over a free place where you can optimize and do your resume for free so you do not have to pay for a resume template you don't have to pay anybody to do your resume you can do it for yourself so watch the video all the way through you know that i get excited every time when i share my screen because i feel in my heart there there's room at the table for everyone for those who want to partake so we're going to go ahead and dive right into the job now we're going to be talking about cvs health and i want you to keep an eye on these jobs okay there are always adding new jobs to the portal okay they are hiring for no talk and work from home job leads as well as customer service jobs they have hired for quality assurance where you're just auditing things but as you can see on the screen they're hiring for a lot of positions like remote case manager rn customer service representative work from home provide a data service specialist fully remote there's different jobs that they have uh, pharmacy care technician you get the picture there's a whole bunch of jobs in here and you need to take advantage of it. Now, if we click on provider data uh, service specialist, this is what you're gonna see. This is how it's gonna look. Um, when we go down to the salary, just go all the way down to the salary. The salary is between $17 and $29 and 88 cents an hour for this position. And they are hiring for full time. But you go in and you can just see it's, it's really not a lot of experience. One plus years of maintaining information within multiple database. And they just want you to know Excel. You always go to Microsoft 365 training and you can learn it for free, y'all. And then just basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to maintain and update provider demographic and contract information and that's that's it that's very easy it's nothing very hard for you to do may provide technical leadership within the unit that's easy you know so if this is something that you want to do then all you need to do is scroll down and hit the apply button but remember explore within the company don't be scared to to go back and explore and see what other jobs that they have available okay so this is job number one now job number two is with the company alorica it used to be known as west at home this was my first job y'all when i first started working from home in 2007 this was my first job but they changed their name to west at home this is where i i received a lot of experience and you can do the same thing. You can explore within the company and see if there's any other jobs that may be a good fit. They hire for chat jobs. They hire for customer service jobs. Um, the sky is the limit. You can just go up here where you can hit remote and you can find jobs. You can choose the location um, that you want to work. There's 20 opening jobs. But again, you can be a remote um, computer hardware technician. Um, they have a lot of bilingual. So if you're bilingual, this is a great platform for you to join, you know, and to get on. So if I go up here and I click on remote computer hardware technician, um, even though it's, it's full time and it is $20 an hour. OK. And it's just basically telling you what you'll be doing, replacing and repair desktop and laptop parts. And then the requirement for this one here, yes, you have to have a lot of experience for this one here. You have to have certifications, um, six months of um, troubleshooting, which is not a lot of experience. I take that back. All I'm saying is that the certification you have to have are related degree. But I'm just giving you an idea of what this company have to offer. But when you go back and check, on a regular basis, they do have chat jobs. I've seen them before, but those type of jobs move very quickly. I suggest you to get out like a Excel spreadsheet or go to, to Google and get a Google spreadsheet for free and start inputting these um, companies and websites into a spreadsheet so you can always go back every week and check and see if they have added more jobs into the portal. But again, this is a great opportunity uh, for somebody to get it, the, the, you know, Alorica, they always do paid training and tuition reimbursement. And then on top of that, you uh, have an option to get paid daily or weekly pay. So that is the good thing about it. So um, again, um, they will provide the equipment you need to conduct your work, which may include a webcam. So 
that's the great thing about working for the company. And if this is something that you want to do, then you go ahead and apply. But again, always explore within the company and see if there's any other remote jobs so you can increase your chances of you know getting hired. So this is opportunity number two. Now, opportunity number three is with the company Humana. Um, again, they always have a lot of positions um, uh, available. Um, companies, they have over 255 um, companies or jobs that they're hiring for, um, as you can see on the screen, inbound contact re representative to work remotely, uh, bilingual. They have a lot of positions available at this particular time here. I'm sorry about this. Let me cut this off. I do apologize. Okay. And then they have a uh, social worker coach. They have inbound contact representative, senior product owner, data and reporting lead. So you get the picture. So if I wanted to apply for, um, I say, the inbound contact representative remote, I can always click on it and I can look and see what they have to offer. Again, this is a full time position here and it is a work from home uh, position. And basically what you're going to do is ensure accurate and timely process of all requests by taking appropriate actions such as schedule appointments, taking messages, transferring calls to appropriate staff, resolve patient issues through independent problem solving and with a goal. So this is a great you know, opportunity for you. And then you can explore again right here within the company and see if there's any other jobs that may be a good fit. Um, and it states here, this is a work from home uh, position. So if this is something you want to do, you go ahead and apply. But again, always go back and explore within the company and see if there's any other jobs. This company do hire for no talk and work from home job leads where you're not on the phone, as well as if you choose to be on the phone. And this is opportunity number three. Now, opportunity number four is with live ops. A lot of people have heard about live ops. This is a beginner friendly work from home job, really don't require a lot of experience. So if you're new to working from home and you're like, I need to gain my experience, the every job that I'm telling you about in this video, I recommend you go ahead and check it out and apply where you gain your experience. But they have opportunities in the retail support, tax support, healthcare, patient support, inbound sales, insurance sales, customer service. And it talks about what can you expect as the agent experience, meet our agent eligibility, onboarding at live ops. They're giving you so much resource that you can do, you know, at live ops. Uh, when we click on uh, up here or go down, they do offer flexibility where you can work when you want to work and have time to spend time with your family. Again, you'll be an independent contractor. You'll be a 1099. Um, they offer flexible schedules. Uh, when you go down here, how much you earn. If you work 20 hours a week, you can earn anywhere between 200 to 800. Um, or if you work 25, you can earn that amount. Um, you know, really extra money you know, if you need to pay your bills. So the three steps that you can do is you're going to check the eligibility requirements and make sure that they're currently accepting application by clicking here. You're going to submit an application for available virtual contact center. You can click here to see if there's current openings. And then you're going to have to pass a self-funded background check and you're going to have to pay this. This business expense is just $25. It's required by our clients and it is the responsibility of the applicant. And then it gives you information about the background check, but you can always go in here and see if they have any openings, which they do right in here. You can click and get the information. If I click on retail support, it's going to talk and give you information about, um, you know, the hours that they expect for you to work seven days a week, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time recommend 12, 20 hours a week. And it's talking about retail support is perfect for agents experience in customer service and upselling comfortable uh, solving problems and managing multiple systems at the same time. And it's just telling you that this position is great if you have all of this, if you're a problem solver. So if you're interested in that, all you need to do is click right here where it says apply now. Take advantage of these no experience opportunities, y'all, because you have to crawl before you walk. Gain the experience. Once you gain the experience, then you can move on up like the Jefferson and get into something that's more intense. OK, so this is opportunity number four. Now, opportunity number five is with the company site staff staff chat. 
They have chat jobs too, which is non-phone work from home job leads, but you have to explore within the company. You always have to stay on top of this because a lot of the chat jobs, they move very quickly because a lot of people do not want to be on the phone. So right now they're hiring for outside sales associates. Remember what I said earlier is to pull up an Excel spreadsheet or go to Google and get a spreadsheet for free and put this information, the site staff chat and one line in the uh, website. So you can always go back and check either every other day and see when they have openings because they're going to start having chat jobs open according to hire manager really soon. But like right now they have outside sales associates to work from home. And it just really talk about um, basically what you're going to be doing. You're going to get a comprehensive two to three weeks online training program, which is great. 1099 commission sales, weekly activity bonus and incentive, weekly production bonus, uh, which is great. You're going to be receiving inbound calls, including transfer sales, leads and calls from current and potential customers. And then when we go down a little bit further, you need to maintain 100% commitment to and the full accountability of CRM data entry and the site staff sales process, okay? And then when you go down here to my right, it talks about the knowledge, skills, and ability, U.S. base. Uh, written and oral communication skills, excellent listening and learning skills, and then must possess and be able to demonstrate strong influence skills. And then it talks about a bachelor's degree preferred but not required. That means if you have it, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. And even though it talks about the ability to travel to a major conference, discuss that with your hiring manager, recruiter. The job that I'm currently on, been on for like 14 years, it required for me to travel, but I've never traveled before. But always discuss that in your interview. Don't let that limit you and to not applying. And if you're interested, you're going to have to send your e uh, resume to this email address okay so this is opportunity number five okay i gave you no experience you know um jobs that don't require a lot of experience so if you want to get your foot in the door these are the jobs that i recommend for you to start like i said earlier um i want to start giving resource for those who need help i read the comments i take out time and read every single one of the comments and in the comments i see people that are struggling some people haven't had a job in two years some people hadn't had a job in three years and a lot of people don't know how they're going to pay their bills and again like i always say i talk about god because god is always there for me and he give he, he he's speaking through me and he gave me the words to say, and I don't lean to my own understanding. I lean to God's understanding. And I'm like, God, I want to help people. Yeah, I'm already helping people is giving them jobs. What more can I do? And this is what was brought to my attention is organization. A lot of people need help paying for their food, utility bills, and need free laptop. And these are the resources that I want to share with you. And if this is something you want, please reach out to me and send me an email. If I don't respond, that doesn't mean I haven't forgot about you. I do have a lot of emails that I have to go through, but you know, I will respond. But United Way 211 provides free and confidential assistance to connect individual with local resource for help with utilities, housing, food, and other essential needs. So you're going to go to 211.org. Government assistance program, again, this is only in the United States. Various federal and state programs offer financial aid for those struggling with bills, including assistance for housing, utility, foods, and health care. You're going to go to benefits.gov. Salvation Army offer various programs to assist with utility bills, rent, and other emergency financial needs. You're going to go to Salvation Army Assistance. And then LIHEAP, which stands for Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program. They help low income households with their heating and cooling energy cost. You're going to go to their website. Now, Community Action Agency, they provide a range of services, including help with bills, housing, employment, tailored to meet the needs of their community. And for those who are looking for a laptop, whether if it's a free laptop or low cost laptop, you can go to PCS for people. They provide low income individuals and their families with refurbished computers, internet and digital literacy support. You're gonna go to PCS for people. And then Own It Foundation offer free computers and internet access to low income families with K to 12 students in the United States. You're gonna go to the Own It Foundation. There's a lot of free resource that you can go out here and get the help that you need from getting a free laptop or a low cost laptop, or if you need help with utility bills, get food, they're out here to help you. Now, what you need to do is visit the website to understand the eligibility criteria for receiving a free or low cost laptop. 
You need to follow the application process as outlined by each organization. This may include providing proof of income or need. And you're going to always explore local resource and community organization as they may have specific programs for providing technology to those in need. If you need this, please reach out to me. Don't be ashamed. I'm not a type of person. So-and-so need this. So-and-so. No, what you tell, tell me is going to stick with God and me. I'm not going to share your information with anybody. I'm just here to help you. What That's what the God want me to do is share things. If I know something, I need to share it with you. So if you want this, reach out to me and I'll send it to you. Another thing that I want to help you with is if you're interested in free training, there's places online that you can do for free um, that you can get your training if you need to, if you don't have a lot of experience. So some of them is, as you can see on the screen, this company here, they offer free courses from top university and companies on various topics. I do apologize where it may be a little bit blurry. I'm going to uh, redo it and fix it. But I'm just trying to show you there's free things. You can look it up yourself and see what companies or what courses out there that are free. EDX, Khan Academy offer free things. Um, if you're into programming and you, in IT, you can go to Code Academy. They offer free, free um, Code Camp. And then also when you go down a little bit further, um, if you're into Google Analytics, uh, they do have Academy. Um, what you, they charge you for is this, if you want to be certified. But if you just want to take the course and just to learn and get that knowledge, it is free. Um, I've done HubSpot Academy. Uh, basically, it provides certifications um, in inbound marketing, content marketing, social media marketing, and more. So I've done that. I've taken a lot of free courses. Even Canva Design School, they have free tutorials on graphic design, branding, and using Canva Design. So you just got to go check it out on your own time. But again, these are free places if you want to get some training i was to go in and explore and see what they have to offer i remember if you're getting a certification that that's going to cost but just to take the course it is free but again go ahead and check it out do your own research for a peace of mind if you would like to have it again reach out to me want to go over earn better i keep telling y'all i want to help you get that job stop paying for resume templates stop paying someone to do your resume god have blessed earn better to come in here to be a blessing to you so take advantage of this now the great thing about um, Earn Better, you can do resume, cover letter, reference letter, thank you, email, follow up. You can also find jobs on here. I haven't done the research, but I have looked at a couple of jobs and they're legitimate. Uh, they, anytime you're looking for a job on your own, make sure that you can go straight to the company website. That's very important. So look, these are some of the jobs that you can look at and you can search and you can hit apply and it can take you to the company website. That is what you want to do. You can also track jobs when you apply for jobs, as well as if you're getting an interview, you can uh, track that. The great thing about this, y'all, is that it does interview uh, prep. It prepare you. On the other end, there's somebody's talking like you're actually in it. It's pre-recorded. And they're talking and asking you questions like if you were in an interview. So all you have to do is hit start practice and then they will ask you these questions. So they're going to ask, ask you three interview questions at your own pace, tailored to your profile and job. They would grade your response, provide feedback instantly, and you keep improving. So say, for example, these are all the jobs that I have applied for in the past, right? So they're just giving you ideas like if I was applying for Sutherland, these are some of the courses that they were asking me. These are your cheat sheet. OK, so what are your greatest strength with the answer? Why do you, you know they give you answers and you can just reword it and put it in, you know, to fit your needs. And why do you want this job? What kind of environment do you thrive in? What sh why should we hire you? What do you think will be the most challenging about the role? Just read it and put in your own words. They're giving you tips and tricks of what to do, okay? And then they're giving you example courses because a lot of times we go into interviews and they asking us all questions and they ask us, do we have any questions? No. And when you say no, that makes it look like you're not interested in the job. And they're like, okay, we're not going to hire. These are courses that you need to ask the interviewer. You know, sit down and you practice, you know, in order to be better. And that's the good thing about it. But if I go back to documents and we go into resume, you know, it's free. You know, sign up. It is free. It's no charge, y'all. I've been using this for like literally at least seven or eight months now, and it is great. So if you already have your resume into Earn Better, 
You can have them to optimize your resume, tailor your resume to the job post. If you near and you never uploaded your resume before, you're going to go here and no, know you're going to upload your resume and you're going to hit save and continue. But you always want to upload your resume as a PDF file. Hiring managers, recruiters always say you want it to be a PDF file because it's more readable and it will help pass the ATS system if your resume is optimized to the job uh, post. But you can also say, I don't have a resume and it does a resume template. That's why I say save your money. If you want to do a resume template for free, go to Canva. They have the free version and they have the paid version. Save your money. Don't be paying anybody to do your resume. Earn Better is going to do it for you. Okay, God gave this resource. Take advantage of it. So say, for example, we got to come up with a title, y'all. So if I can type in data entry or whatever job that I'm applying for, whatever job that I want to apply for, um, you know, I can put that information in. Uh, say, for example, we're going to use one of the jobs here. Say, for example, if I was applying for HVAC tech support. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste that and I'm going to put this in here word for word and I'm going to hit save and continue. OK, so this is a resume template. Y'all It's not done, but I'm just showing you that you do not have to pay for a resume template. I can't get it. A lot of people are paying for a resume template and this is doing for free. This is free ninety nine. All you need to do is go to content and then you can put your information. I can put my name. I can put my last name. Um, I can put my phone number. I can put my city. And I can leave it like that. I can do a LinkedIn. If I have a LinkedIn account, I can go here to my summary. And I can just say something like, uh, I want to here sw switch the objective. Um, I want to say like maybe seeking a, let me see what I put here. A HVAC position. And I can say with five years of experience. Okay. And I could just leave it like this, y'all. I know it's not uh, right, but I'm going to have AI to rewrite, rewrite um, this here. So I'm going to hit rewrite objective. And it's we're going to rewrite this objective for me to make it sound more professional. Um, this is where it's currently say um, this is suggestion one that I can choose suggestion two, suggestion three. But I'm going to choose suggestion one and I'm hit apply edit. OK, you see how it reword that plain little sentence and made it something professional. I can add my work experience by hitting add work experience. I can put my title if it was data entry or if it was customer service. I can put customer service agent and I can put the company Sutherland and then I can put the city. I, I can hold on y'all. Atlanta, Florida. I can say July and I can put the end date. I'm currently working there. And then I can go here. Say, for example, if this was my job title, what I was doing here, if I scroll down here and I put my job title, say, for example, is if this was what I was doing here. OK, I can just go here. We're just pretending this is the work that I do on my job. I can go back to earn better and I can put this in here like that. OK, so that's all I need to do. And then I can add my education. If I have a bachelor's degree in applying science, I can add that. And then the institution, Disney World. And then if I had certification, I can add that. The skills, I could type in the skills, but they always give you suggestions from the job post on um, these different skills. And I just add them all in there because I'm trying to increase my chances of passing the applicant track system. And it automatically saves it for you. You hit finish. And then here can your resume right here. I can download it here. I can um, click on it. And this is the resume. This is what it looks like thus far, y'all. It made my objective here. In my work experience, if this was what I did at Sutherland, it put the bullet points for me, it put my education and the skills, y'all. And if I need to go back and edit it, I can go back and edit it. I can go back to my objective and I can take this objective out of here because I don't want that there. And it automatically saves for me whatever I need 
it's going to take it out for me. Okay. Then I can go in and choose a design. Like I said, when you are looking for a template, this is free. You want something that's black and white. The one that's already um, have a check mark. Go with that. Don't go with this one here. That will throw the ATS off and your resume will not make it. So don't go with this one nor that one. Okay. Go with something simple. So it is easy. It is free 99. Take advantage of this, you know, because again, I'm here to help you to the best of my ability. Okay. So if this video has been helpful thus far, what I want you to do is hit that like button as well as I want you to subscribe. Remember to keep pushing, keep applying, never ever give up. Don't disqualify yourself before you apply for these jobs. Let the company do it. Have a great day.